So Red Grange turns pro 1925 is the seventh moment of the 11. We've done six. After this one, we have four to go. And we're trying to build a monumental tourism trail cele celebrating the 11 greatest moments in professional football history. The uh, idea was that event had to be greater than the singular in impact that it had. In other words, it had to survive the test of time and change the game forever. Now, why this particular moment in time falls into that category, fulfills that category, is that Red Range was Illinois star in 1925. It was the biggest name in college football. And college football and pro football did not get along in the 20s when the NFL first started. The NFL started, as you know, right here in Canton, Ohio in 1920. In fact, college, the, the purists, the amateur purists, looked at pro football as something akin to bootleggers. I mean, it was not respected profession at all. So when Red Grange decided to turn pro, it was big news. The colleges hated it, but for pro football, it was a shot in the arm that they needed. They didn't have that big Hollywood marquee name yet. Jim Thorpe had been kind of in the pre-NFL years and in the early years, but his star was dwindling as he was aging. Red Range gave them that shot in the arm that they needed, and it was headline news everywhere across not just the United States, even in Europe. I found some images that I felt would translate well into a painting and that depicted him well, painted them. Then a team of designers took my paintings and designed them to fit the building.